Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so I'm going to let you hear this audio. Uh, shout out to Reba TV. This is where I got uh, the audio from. Um, you can go check out this video. I mean, this is just something that you can't make up, but I'm going to let you hear for yourself. I'm going to get my take on the situation, and then I'm going to let you, brothers and sisters, give your opinion in the comment section. Uh I mean, at the end of the day, if you didn't really see this person and hear this, you would think this was something that I made up. But this actually came out of this this woman's mouth. But, you know, uh, without furthermore, I'm going to let you hear this. So, you know, here you go. Check this out. As you can see, this woman is delusional, selfish, self-centered. She is somebody that you stay away from at all costs. And as you can see, she's living in Atlanta. So brothers in Atlanta, if you see her go the opposite, you know, just go the opposite direction. You have the option to go every direction except towards her direction. For this woman to act like she don't understand what the problem was. See, this is a woman that don't understand an agreement because it's all about her. You agreed to pay that man and that's just the bottom line. It doesn't matter whether you liked the dude or not and you was vibing. You said you would pay him and you supposed to pay him. And to think because he asked you out. That means you are excused from paying the man. You know, a lot of times dudes already feel like they get used when women ask them to come over there and put together some stuff for them. And then a lot of times the woman ain't feeling them and they just give them a thank you. <laughs> uh, and that's it. And they feel kind of slighted. So she agreed to pay him. But due to the fact that he asked her out, she felt like that was tacky. How's that tacky? 
if a woman come over to less and they have women mechanics or provide some kind of service in the home and she's there to, you know, install a satellite dish or something or whatever the case may be, or, you, you know, uh, just look at the house for basically some services and I'm single, she's single and we vibe. That doesn't mean that I don't have to pay her. If she hands me a bill, I'm supposed to pay her. We can do this, the going out stuff. That's secondary business is business. But due to the fact she thought because he asked her out and she liked him, she doesn't owe him anything. And then based off the fact that she's shared this situation and this story with other people and everybody have told her that she was in the wrong. And then she says, did you catch what she said? No, I'm right. No, you're, you're not right. You're selfish. You're all about yourself. And a lot, you know, and this is really deep too. I'm going to do a video about this, telling the story, what happened to me. And a lot of women do this a lot where they think, you know, vibes and all that and eye contact means, or, you know what I'm saying? Going out with you means that's payment and all that kind of stuff. Cause I'm a really going in deep about that particular situation. But this lady, wow. Say that she thought it was tacky, but you agreed to pay him. Business is business. Pleasure is pleasure. The going out stuff is a bonus. It has nothing to do with what you agreed on. So you thought because you agreed to go out on a date, that means you break your obligation to pay this man. I mean, damn, this lady is self-centered and selfish. And she looks really bad trying to make it look like like the dude is in the wrong for asking her for his money. If it was the other way around, wouldn't I have to pay you? If you came over my house and provided some kind of service, doesn't mean whether we get along or vibe or that has nothing to do with, with anything. There's business and then there's the bonus. There's business, then there's pleasure. That old saying, I don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, you asked him to come over, you agreed to pay him. How in the fuck is that tacky? Wow. So that means like if you at Walmart or something and, and, you know, the dude that's, you know, checking you out, you know, the checker, he may be a dude or something, or let's just say you pay for your groceries and all that kind of stuff. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And they tell you, you have to like tip the dude or some stuff like that, which you don't have to tip. But some places have it to where it's mandatory, which I don't know how that could be mandatory to tip somebody. But you know what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this. So if this dude is the cashier, you know, or let's just say he working in the food court or something and, you know, he's serving your food and you like him and and he likes you and y'all vibe and y'all exchange, whatever, you still have to pay for that damn food. You agreed to pay, so you should pay. Wow, this is what's out there? Where the hell is she from? Who in the hell raised this girl to be so selfish, self-observed, and, and just self-centered? And then she says at the beginning, no, I'm right. No, you're not. If you shared this story with everybody, even the women, your cousin said, no, you was in the wrong. What does that tell you? They believe that you were in the wrong. But anyway, let me know what you think it is. It's your boy Town. I'm out.